Au toit du tout bas, on dansait, on dansait. C'était plutôt inhabituel, alors bien sûr j'en profitais. De bras en bras, les gens passaient, ça n'était. Dominic A is a French singer-songwriter. Uh, around 1984, at the age of about 16, he set up a band called John Merrick, who played tortured soul kind of rock stuff. Uh, at the start of the 90s, he launched his uh, solo career, which was more upbeat and was a modern take on chanson. Uh, he released his first solo album in 1991 and his 16th in 2023. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was uh, Dominic's fourth solo album, uh, and it's my first encounter with the album and with him. Um, and I would describe this as being, well, um, it's kind of singer-songwriter, but it's it's got a particular kind of leaning towards chanson, which is a French um, singer-songwriter. Well, it's this French singer uh, tradition that goes back a long way to people like Edith Piaf and even further. Um, but it has more modern sounds in it uh, generally, so it's a kind of it's an updating of that uh, chanson tradition. In terms of what are the um, characteristics of chanson, I, I would be kind of pushed to tell you, but it's um, it, it, it's not rocky. Uh, it's fairly gentle. Traditionally, it has a lot of the kind of waltzy accordion sound in it, uh, whereas this doesn't so much. Uh, but the emphasis here is still on the songs here. So there's shades of kind of uh, what I think of as being the, Bruna's not the right word, but the, the singers of the early 70s from um, America and Britain. So Scott Walker's early stuff comes to mind. But people like, um, I don't know, Max Bygraves and uh, Desert Connor and stuff like that. Except it's not cheesy, uh, which they tended to be, not Scott Walker. Um, almost all of it's in French. Uh, sometimes he has a female singer with him. I managed to track down who that is, uh, and it's uh, a lady with the name Françoise Bleu. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because um, I'm never confident about my foreign pronunciations. Um, very nice uh, sounding voice. With the addition of her, often actually the whole thing sounds a bit like some of the uh, Brazilian tropicalia, tropicalia stuff that I've really enjoyed. Uh, the song Le 22 Bar was a commercial success. Apparently he didn't think much of it as a song, so he became a bit disillusioned at that point. Um, overall, I would say this is pleasant. It's French, uh, so I don't understand, or almost all in French, so I don't really understand what's being sung. Uh, it's got shades of other things as well in here. So there's kind of shades of bossa nova. There's a track with more Mexican feeling. That's the 22 bar. Um, and a few other things in here as well. So it's got some variety in it. Um, I enjoyed it in a mild kind of way. It's sort of su sunny day sitting out in the garden kind of music. It's very gentle and it kind of whiffles on. And it's good. It's decent. It's not... Um, uh, profound and deep, or uh, it doesn't rock you, it just kind of uh, soothes you, I think is probably the right word. Anyway, that's what I think, and uh, I'd love to know what you think of this album, so please do leave a comment. And that's it from me for now. I feel something for you You feel nothing for me this word, love, can be true. 